make uh, mozzarella caprese for uh, appetizer before dinner here. We've been out working in the garden, got a bunch of tomatoes and basil, and already had a uh, block of mozzarella cheese here. So uh, the balsamic vinegar, we don't like it really runny. We like it kind of a little more syrupy. So if you take balsamic vinegar here and stick it on the oven and heat it up over low heat, kind of stir it constantly over low, medium heat until it starts to thicken up. It tastes, kind of condenses the flavor, makes it a little stronger. So it's not runny. Put a little bit more in there. Stir it once it gets hot. Starts to boil, just turn it down, let it simmer a little bit. It ought to be good there. Cook it down quite a bit. It's uh, still hot. You let it cool off some, but it's a little more syrupy. Intensifies the, intensifies the flavor a little bit when you do. I have an overabundance of these cherry tomatoes. I'm going to use those. I'll leave the other ones for sauce, and the other ones aren't really ripe. I then made sauce for froze some and got another pot on the oven for just tomato sauce, make some eggplant, caponata later on. Okay, that ought to be enough tomatoes. Toss these with some, uh, got plenty of tomatoes left. All right, gonna slice some cheese now. A little olive oil down there. Okay. Put a little olive oil in the plate there. Let the cheese start soaking up the flavor. Good for the cheese. Let's put some tomatoes in here and some basil. I clutch tomatoes, especially since I have a lot of them. That's enough. Everything should be salty enough. Let's see how our sauce turned out here. Thick. or thicker now if you want to you can throw some oregano in there I've got fresh oregano and dried, but I'm not putting it in there. There's still basil or basil. It smells good out there in the garden when you're messing around weeding or something. You can smell basil planted it everywhere out there, especially around tomatoes and peppers. It's a good companion for tomatoes. Put more olive oil on there. Or a lot more. More balsamic. Looks like I did just enough. Nice and thick. Bread should be almost ready now. See how it's not runny at all?
Maybe just a little, but that'll be good. Get my cheese back in the thing here. You can have some more tomorrow. Uh, Roll your sapper, sapper. Check on my bread here. Yeah, it's hot. Cool off for a minute. It's too hot to handle. Italian loaf. Uh, this is added to store. You can use French bread. You can use pita bread. You can use pretty much any kind of bread you want. We use Italian or French usually. It's a good bread to dip in the sauce there. Dip in the olive oil and the vinegar. But you can use whatever you want. Let me go get the boss so we can eat. And that's it. We did everything except the olive oil, the bread, and the cheese. We did the tomatoes and the basil and everything else.